this is week two of the folly diary so it's been um, a most gentle week we've had some days with food in our training and some days where it's just me and they've come up to investigate me one of the things I introduced this week is um, <laughs> what I'm calling horse popping candy so what I've actually got in there is um, some course mix is actually in that syringe and Flick is doing um, I wouldn't say maybe the mummy role modeling although certainly Folly's going to perceive it that way she's cottoned on to the idea that sometimes I have food so she's up quite quickly to have a look and this is something new for her to check out So I also had my partner Anthony up with me for some of these sessions and he's been taking some still photographs which have come out really nicely and I'm going to share on Instagram. And it was another opportunity <laughs> for Folly to investigate another weird thing going on in his life. So I love how he, he's curious, but he's being cautious. So he turns his head away to give those lovely calming signals and to give himself a little bit of space. And then when he's brave enough, he just brings his little nostrils over to have a look. I've also been reading up on laterality in horses this week. And there's a, been a little bit of research over the last decade that shows that um, when horses need to be able to act quickly and appropriately for them, that is of course not for us, they really like to have whatever um, is bothering them or whatever they're socialising with more in their left eye than in their right eye. Um, so I found that really interesting. So that's friendly contact, unfriendly contact, um, mares preferring mum to be on the left, sometimes mums preferring their babies to be on the left. So I love how Folly turns around here, so they're left to left. Um, it's cool, yeah. He's, uh, with all of this work, sometimes it's quite overwhelming for him and I have to remember to back off and let him just have some space, let him have the moment. So he's seen Anthony, he's gone to mum for some help, but he hasn't investigated my popping candy syringe yet. Um, and obviously I'd like him to do that, but I need to give him room to calm down uh, and settle. As you can see, his little winkle there has dropped out because he's had an emotional time, he's been to mum to calm down, but it's probably all still quite emotional. He needs to just graze and chill before he's ready to come and see me and what I've got. So this is his response to my popping candy. Looks like this is food, I smell it. How do I get? I'm going to do a little explainer video coming up as well that goes on about my horse popping candy where I stand in my kitchen and show you. So watch out for that coming up in this video pretty soon. Good boy, back to grazing. And remember not to be a greedy trainer. Show him there's no more and leave him to his own devices until another time. That's also why I don't do food training every day. Sometimes I just go up in the dark, quite often these days, let him have a sniff at me and then I go again. Pony popping candy, you need one used Wormer syringe that is big enough to be able to fit some coarse mix in it. So here we go, just pop it in the end like so. If you push it in, the syringe will push down. You will spill bits of coarse mix over your kitchen or anywhere else where you're doing this. It's okay when it's on the field, isn't it? There we are. So when your curious pony comes along and nibbles the end of it and there's a bit in their mouth, you can just quietly push down the syringe. All the little bits of coarse mix will come back out into their mouth and they'll very happily gobble it all up. 
so here we go the last session I recorded and it's another popping candy session so I'm still too excited by that so as always let them approach me Flick has reflected on her previous lesson and it's so much easier for her now to be a little bit braver What's happened is she's bitten onto the syringe and as she's tried to move away her jaws still remain tense so it's meant to drag the syringe a little bit so I've tried to really passively hold on to it so I'm not actively tugging back so that it slips away from her teeth and then she can escape freely. And all the while, there we go, Folly's getting a little bit of learning alongside his mum so he's got her as his her, you know, her is his safe haven to come back to and she's also that secure base that he can explore from so mm, yeah mum's going but I'm staying it's really great because he already knows that he likes popping candy and I'm just keeping up that link where halter equals food and then letting him see me with the halter eat and then I go and we end the session so it's always short and sweet.